This week on Competition Ready, Mike and his team are swooping in at the last minute to help polish a completely hand-built 32 Roadster pickup, getting it ready to compete for America's most beautiful Roadster. We're heading to Hollywood Hot Rods with less than 24 hours before showtime, racing the clock to get this stunning 32 ready for the judges. When the world's top builders need a show-stopping finish, they call Bob McKee and his team of expert detailers to prepare their custom creations for some of the most prestigious automotive events in the industry. Join me and detail pro Mike Phillips as we team up with the country's best surface technicians to polish these incredible cars to perfection at that critical final moment before the doors open and the crowds begin to arrive. From the shop to the show, we're there to make these rides just shine. competition ready. This is pretty crazy. These guys are calling all over each other to get Troy's 32 finished before it gets loaded up to head to the Grand National Roadster Show tomorrow morning. And we kind of knew it would be like this since Bob got the initial call. Hello, this is Bob. Hey, Bob, this is Troy over at Hollywood Hot Rods. Hey, Troy, how you been, my friend? Uh, I've been okay. We have a car that we're competing in, America's Most Beautiful Roadster. And, of course, we're down to the wire, and we need some professional help uh, as far as the final detail. All right. Can you tell me a little bit about the car? Well, it's a 32 Ford Roadster pickup. Uh, everything is handmade, of course. So what kind of time frame do we really have on this, Troy? We're still putting parts on, and even when you're here, I mean, we're probably going to be, you know, day before type of deal. And even at that late date, uh, we still may not have the, the final seats in the car. We may still even have a windshield that needs to go on. So maybe 99% uh, complete. Hey, Troy, you're not making this easy for us this time around, but uh, we're up for the challenge. We got you covered, my friend. Bye now. Every car Troy makes is handmade. He uses multiple materials. It's going to be a tremendous challenge. Once I get the pictures, I'm going to go see Mike and the guys, and I hope this one doesn't scare him too much. But really, how can you be scared of this guy? So we're building a 32 Ford Roadster pickup truck for the America's Most Beautiful Roadster competition at uh, the Grand National Roadster Show. We're at the last minute, we're working late nights, weekends, and it's a push. Troy Specialty is creating old school hot rods with a new school sensibility. And now it's our job to make this Roadster shine. What we really need help with is final detail. We got assembly and fabrication, all this other stuff to do. So I need professionals to come in and get this thing ready for the amber. No, that's the real deal, right yeah. there. You hold it yeah. just like that. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi. Hey Bob. Hey Bob. Hey listen, we have a builder that needs our help. Why don't you come into the uh, motor coach and uh, let's figure this one out. Let's do it. Right, sounds good. Car wax emergency. <laughs> This one's going to be a real challenge. He has a 1932 Ford Roadster pickup. This is a hand-built car. Take a look at this one. Wow, that's wow. amazing. That's a pretty cool car, isn't it? Uh, the yeah, The color's amazing. right with all the bright work. I like the wishbones. Yeah, I noticed all this. This is going to be fun getting down into this metal to get that looking good. This one has to be done completely. Outside, underneath the chassis, yeah, everything on here is either uh, chrome-plated or polished. That is a lot of bright work to have to take care of. And even the bed of that truck is hand-picked mahogany. Look at that. What's going to be good about this one is that we'll be able to work at his shop. And then the next day, it's going right to the Grand National Roadster Show. So this is going to be a very special project. The Amber Awards, that's one of the most prestigious. So this has to be perfect. I noticed uh, one issue here is uh, no interior. We don't know whether the interior is going to be in the vehicle or not. But either way, we're just going to have to work on it, and it'll be installed. I see two days, three days. What kind of time frame do we have for this, Bob? We have one day to do this before he loads it up that night. Really? Yep. Uh, with the crew that we're going to assemble, we can get it done. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. You ready for it? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. All right. This is going to be a long drive from Florida to California. The next thing to do is uh, load up our products into the van and hit the road. Mike will have to drive to California and hit the ground running. There is no time to waste on this one. This 
This episode of Competition Ready is brought to you by Sonax, premium car care products since 1950, and Flex Tools, car polishers made by professionals for professionals. Nobody has ever been sorry they bought the best. Flex polishers are German engineers specifically for polishing paint. The Flex 3401 is the only gear-driven orbital polisher on the market. It's both safe and powerful. The Flex XFE7 is a free-spinning orbital polisher for easy and safe machine polishing with swirl-free results. The Flex PE14 has all the power of a full-size rotary buffer in a compact, lightweight size. Flex polishers made by professionals for professionals. Nobody has ever been sorry they bought the best. Welcome to beautiful Burbank, California. Mike should be arriving here at Hollywood Hot Rods any moment, which is good because we have a lot of work we need to do. Troy Ladd is nearly complete with his stunning 32 Roadster pickup, but this beauty can't win any awards unless Mike and the team can finish the job in time. How are you doing? How are you? Good, good. real good. All right, well, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's go in and talk to Troy. Let's do it. Here, I'll get the door. Hey, Troy. Hi, AJ. Hey, how are hey, you? Nice to see good. you. Me too. It's been a while. Hey, Troy, yep. good to see you again. So glad to see you. We need your help. What do you got going <laughs> on here? Here's our 32 Roadster pickup project. It's a show car that we've been working on for probably a good two years. We're at the final stages. Yeah, but I noticed there's still certain parts that are not here yet. Right. So how's that going to work with well, us getting it ready um, for you? The panels and all of the pieces have already been fab, and they're simply sewing details. Based on timeline, it's probably better off if there isn't upholstery, because there's no roof, there's yeah. no windows. So if you're doing your thing, and they have a little bit more time to finish some details, we thought that would be okay. The bed is wood. It's a mahogany, a hand-picked mahogany wood. That is at a woodworking craftsman that's doing the final finish and the stain work on that. And again, we have so much shiny stuff and um, bright work underneath the car. Since the wood goes in easy, we thought that would be easier access. Oh, yes. And then the, the third thing that you're probably noticing is there's no windshield. It goes on really easy. So we thought we'd kind of take the burden of putting that on last minute and give you a, a clear shot of the cowl. Because that's, that's a main focal point of the car. What kind of time frame do we have to work on this? Well, we have to register the car tomorrow at the show. So we really need to get the detail stuff done today. <laughs> and we need a little bit of time to put in the bed, interior, and the windshield. Well, so. if we have to pull all nighter, we'll do it. Awesome. Yeah. Probably going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be the first time. Well, let's stop uh, wasting time and get to work. Well, I actually have another car to get ready for the Roadster Show. Okay. So I'm going to go work somewhere else. And of course, you guys are going to save the day. Oh, man, where to start? For Troy, it started 18 months ago with an idea on paper and an ambitious vision of what a Roadster can be. They didn't start with a rusted body and a bucket of bolts. This was built entirely from scratch. This build reflects what Hollywood Hot Rods does perfectly. And what we do is we sell the process. I don't want you to write me a check and give you a car. I want to develop a relationship with the owner and we build together. You get to be a part of it, you get to be on the design team, and at the end, you have a work of art that only you as the owner gets to enjoy. But to truly make this diamond shine, Mike and the guys are gonna have to buckle down and hit this baby hard. Ready to work? Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, thanks for being here today. As you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful street rod, but it needs a lot of work and we don't have a lot of time to get the work done. So I'm gonna need everybody working as a team. This is actually a very complicated project. If you look, there's a lot of different metal surfaces, chrome, aluminum, stainless steel, even some texture surfaces that we're not gonna polish, but we gotta be careful around them. The paint looks pretty good. We're gonna inspect where the swirl finder lies, see where we're really at. Look at these wheels. The center section has been bead blasted to give it an old time textured look. And so we need to polish all the metal around it without getting anything onto that textured surface. That means someone's gonna have to tape that off. And that's very tedious work. So I don't know, I'm starting to see Claude here smiling. You might be the guy for that. I'll take it. Because that's gonna take some patience. 
Oh, yeah. uh, there's no roof, there's no hood on it right now, the bed's out of it, but there's a lot of thin panels, so I have some special tools and pads for that. And as far as doing all the metal polish, this is gonna be all done by hand. Of course, every square inch of this car is gonna be inspected by the judges. Any questions? No. Nope. Well, let's get to work, Dan. Yeah, let's do it. One of the biggest challenges Mike and his team are gonna have with detailing this particular car is there are so many different surfaces to deal with. I mean, right in just this small area, we have paint that requires polishing, textured low sheen paint that requires a cleaning, aluminum, which requires polishing, aluminum, aluminum, chrome, which is a different kind of polish, stainless, stainless, stainless. So in one area, there's five different types of detail requirements that's gonna make this a pretty tricky deal. But before the real work can begin, the team's gotta get prepped and ready with the hopes they'll be able to save a little time. Well, I think we have enough products. <laughs> and here we go. We don't have a second to lose. Because of all the intricate metal work and the lack of large surfaces, a lot of the work on this ride has to be done by hand. And where we can, we'll hit the painted surfaces with smaller pads. So we've been working for a couple of hours now. Where are we at in the game? Well, what we did first is we went through with the rotary polishers and little small pads to get the tight areas. And these just spin in a single circle. So that means they're great for moving the major swirls and scratches, but you don't want to finish with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the dual action polishers. We got two different ones here. This is the gear driven Flex 3401. And if you listen, you can hear the gears. Hear the gears? Yeah. And put your hand on there and try to stop the pad. You can't, can you? No. So it oscillates, and what that's going to do is it's going to work out any of the fine swirls left behind by the rotary polisher, which is natural for a rotary because of its power. Okay. That's why you don't want to finish it. In, in the show car world, so often I see beautiful cars, but they got swirls, and that's because the guys are finishing. They're stopping with the rotary. What they need to do is switch over to a DA. And, and of course the pads here, these are the Lake Country and these are a finishing pad, the one that's really soft, okay. with a fine cut polish for the last machine polishing step, then we'll be ready to put the wax on. Mike, let's not forget, we still gotta get this on the rack. Yeah, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fire up the DA polishers, knock out the horizontal surfaces that are about waist high, then we'll put up on the rack, a couple guys can get underneath, and we'll tackle the vertical size with the DAs. And we only have a couple hours left to do this. The pressure is on. Mike Phillips here with Competition Ready. You've seen me use Sonax products on my TV show, so let me tell you about Sonax. The Sonax research and development team introduces new technology into all Sonax products to meet and exceed the demands of the market. Since 1950, the brand has been synonymous with the highest standards in the car care industry. Sonax is the number one brand in Germany and the leading brand in Europe. Sonax, innovation, cutting edge technology, and superior product performance. For more information, visit SonaxUSA.com. We've only just begun on Troy Lad's jaw-dropping 32 Roadster pickup, and there's a whole lot to do. Fortunately, there's no shortage of elbow grease with this team. Before long, Troy's incredible 32 Roadster pickup is going to be rolling into position at the Grand National Roadster Show, and hopefully securing a win as America's most beautiful roadster. This is an insane amount of work to do in just a few short hours, and there is no room for failure. The Grand National Roadster Show is the longest running indoor car show in the world. From its humble beginnings in Oakland, California in 1949, to the mega show it's become today. Transplanted to Los Angeles County, the Grand National Roadster Show has become one of the most prestigious and highly regarded shows in the industry. Well, the show actually started in 1949, and it's the 67th year. It's the big show on the West Coast. We're coming out here and trying to do something with these guys. You, you got your heroes out here. You got the people that's actually started the whole tradition. You don't want to miss this show. It's 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 always the granddaddy of the you know, roadster show. And you know, I grew up going there. First time I went, I was two years old. My dad took me there. 
After decades of accumulating notoriety, it's no wonder the judging criteria has become increasingly strict. To make it as an America's Most Beautiful Roadster contender, your car has to be absolutely perfect from top to bottom. Detailing is everything. Like every nook and cranny, every bolt head, every piece of shiny surface needs to be as perfect as humanly possible. Because you're literally going to have guys up there with flashlights and poking at stuff. So it's imperative that they, they get all the details and, and get it handled. The cars at the Amber Award are known for their shine. We have a lot to live up to. This is a very delicate process. Every part of this car was hand built, so we have to be very careful before we get it up on the lift. Wanna hold? Whoa. Now we got it up on the lift. We got to get underneath this car and get to polishing. We also have one more wheel, correct, Claude? Yes, sir. Are you glad to volunteer to do the other three? Yeah, I'm happy, Mike. You know, I'm up for the challenge. They're looking brilliant, and that's what we wanted out of them. OK, so now for the rest of the car underneath, we got metal polishing, we got paint polishing. Now, a lot of the paint underneath here and in the tight areas, we're not going to be able to get a machine, OK? So for that, we're just going to use finger pockets, OK? Use the gold jeweling finger pockets. Slide your hands in like this. And this is a light cleaner wax, OK? So if there's any kind of light toweling scratches from this thing being handled, moved around, touched, that kind of thing, it's going to clean that up and give it a real nice shine. For the metal polishing, we're back to the metal polish, and then your choice of the microfiber glove, or this is another finger pocket, but fill that one. A little coarse. Yeah. OK, so this is for metal polishing. Don't mistake the two. You guys got it? OK, okay so we, we're running short on time, and we still got the vertical size to machine polish. So as soon as we can get all the underneath uh, metal and paint polish, we got to drop it back down and then jump on the sides. Well, speaking of time, I know we were all told that this car would be loaded by tomorrow morning, but. That has changed. It is now 6 p.m. tonight. Oh, you're kidding me. No. The hits just keep coming. But no worries, there's a reason Troy called us. So one thing I love about Roadsters is the open wheel design, but that makes it completely exposed. So that means you got to dress both sides of the tire, because everybody can see both sides. Well, for this whole car, we've been using nothing but Sonex products, and they work great. But this is their tire gloss gel. And what's great about this, I'm going to show you a little tip here, okay. is that it dries to the touch, so it won't attract dust. And this is a tire swipe. And see how it's curved to match the sidewall? And then what you want to do is you want to put some right along the edge, because okay. that way you can get down to the tire and kind of rub that in right next to the lip of the rim. And as you can see, Rob's over here just dressing the whole tire. I'm putting on my fingers, and it's not greasy at all. Yep, it dries to the touch. Yeah, so now do I get to swipe it? Yep. We'll swipe the tire. All right. And as the hours run thin, another piece of the puzzle arrives, the hand-shaped and recently painted hood. Oh, guys, the hood's here. <sighs> We're losing time, but gaining work. Whether you're a novice or professional, AutoGeek can cover all your car care needs. We carry all the brands you know and trust, plus tips and techniques, and how-to articles and videos on our friendly discussion forum. AutoGeek is your car care authority. They helped us in our shop. They can help you in your garage. For more information, visit AutoGeek.com is one of the most highly respected builders in the industry, and his work speaks for itself. But in a competition like this, first impressions are everything. So this pickup has to live up to the high standards of the Grand National Roaster Show and by Troy's track record. All right, guys, we have two hours before we have to get this thing loaded up and out of the shop. All right, Mike, tell me we are almost done because we are basically out of time. We're almost done, but the next part's really fast. That's going to put the wax on the car, but we're not actually using the wax. OK. It's a synthetic paint sealant. And actually, you might think of it as something that looks like a hairspray. It does look like a hairspray bottle. And all you do is just miss the applicator pad like this. 
and then spread that on, let it dry for about a minute, and wipe it off. So there's no long wait time. Clock is done ticking, so we better get going. Love this color. You need to know the truck just, wow. That is amazing. It doesn't look like the same car. The car's color even looks different. Yeah. It, it, it has a deeper hue to it, if that it's even makes sense. It's a lot richer. It is. Yeah, we brought up the richness of color. We cleared up the clear coat by removing all the defects and the contaminants. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why you got that amazing gloss now wherever the light hits it. It's, it's unbelievable. Troy, it was a true honor to work on a car from Hollywood Hot Rods, and I hope the judges love it as much as we do. Thank you so much. And you guys really knocked it out of park. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks, thank Troy. you. Anytime. Thank you. Troy seems pretty impressed, and our timing couldn't have been better. The truck is here, and this thing has got to go. Mike and the guys have done it. They've put a week's worth of surface expertise into a single day, and the results are simply stunning. It's no doubt the judges will be floored with the results, and now we can finally get some rest. Tomorrow, it's all in the hands of the judges. Welcome to the Grand National Roadster Show, an amazing collection of some of the finest built hot rods and roadsters in the country. And of course, home to the America's Most Beautiful Roadster Award. It's the 67th Annual Grand National Roadster Show, and we actually have 13 cars that are competing for America's Most Beautiful Roadster. And these cars take months and months to prep, and we're really excited about the, the diversity and the variety of the cars that we have for it. Most guys are car builders, not detailers. We all get to the show and we got all our polishes and waxes and everything and you put it under the lights and then you start seeing stuff that you never even saw at the shop. We look around and go, we really need somebody to help us with this. You're watching the judges come up and look at the cars for the last time. They're trying to find something that we missed. And regardless of how judges react to the 32, Troy is having a great time showcasing his beautiful creation. It just glistens in the light. I mean, you just are shocked by the paint. And then with all of the polish of aluminum, chrome, stainless, it's just a visual bombardment of your eyes. And for a show vehicle, that's what you want. We were very fortunate that Mike and AJ were willing to come in and take a look and work on our car so that we're able to finish up on time and get to the show. I'm the young kid on the block, so I'm very appreciative of the opportunity that I've had. It's been a whirlwind, but it's excited and happy, and uh, it, it's, it's amazing. The hours were long, the work was hard, but Mike and his team of experts have definitely made Troy's 32 competition ready.